Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Jahangir Bada Sumru. I am assistant professor and principal investigator of hardware in loop laboratory at Electrical Engineering Department of Khairai B University, Pakistan. Uh, in this video, I will present summary of one of my research paper titled "Modified Nearest Level Modulation for Full Bridge Based HVDC MMC in Real Time Hardware Loop Setup." Basically. The laboratory setup is same as already discussed in my previous videos, and this hardware and loop laboratory setup is used to propose a novel and enhanced modular multi-level converter with reduced number of cells and harmonic content. So this platform base suits for innovative research in the domain of power converters. Such as modular multi-level converters. Now, modular multi-level converter is an emerging converter topology for medium and high voltage application. This is true because modularity and scalability features of MMC make it best topology for high voltage DC transmissions and multi-terminal DC transmission systems. Basically, combining smaller submodules to make a larger system. is known as modularity now in mmc hundreds of cells can be cascaded to get more number of levels hundreds of levels and this feature is known as modularity other than modularity mmc also offers other silent features such as reduced dv over dt stress reduced di over dt stress fault blocking capacity and uh, lower switching frequency no need of filter i mean without filter at the load side uh, the output of the voltage and current has better power quality and there is no need of the filter at the uh, load side so it has improved power quality all right fault tolerance is also one of the best silent feature of mmc topology because of these features mmc is considered to be uh, one of the best converters in the field of hvdc and mtdc now nearest level modulation is the conventional control topology used to control the mmc that produces the n plus 1 ac output waveform there are many modulation topologies for mmc one of them is nearest level modulation this operates at fundamental frequency and therefore it has lower switching losses and uh, uh, this is most commonly used modulation scheme for mmc because of its uh, advantages such as it operates on fundamental frequency and has lower switching losses and uh, uh, with this topology you can achieve a higher number of levels uh, now in previous research work the modified nlm has been already proposed uh, producing a 2n plus 1 and 4n plus 1 output from while utilizing half bit sub module topology uh, in one of our previous research work we have proposed uh, MMC with half bit sub modules, and uh, we have proposed a modified NLM that can produce up to four n plus one levels. So this will have advantage that for if if you propose modified NLM that has four n plus one levels, that means it will have better power quality and reduced number of cells. So this will be the advantage. All right. and in our this paper instead of half bridge we have used full bridge cells however half bridge ba based mmc has a similar behavior as two level voltage source converter and cannot block dc fault current in case of dc short circuit fault this means that this means that if there occurs dc pole to pole short circuit fault like as shown here so in this case if you are using a two level voltage source converter or if you are using a uh, half bit sub modules in mmc both two level voltage source converter and half bit some uh, half bit based mmc will have same behavior and they cannot block this uh, this fault dc pole to pole short circuit fault and this is very severe and dangerous fault scenario 
but full bridge submodules based MMC can block and can limit this DC pole to pole short circuit fault. So this is the main advantage of full bridge based MMC. Now because of this main advantage in this paper the focus is on full bridge MMC. So full bridge MMC based is preferably used by manufacturer as it has DC fault blocking capabilities. This paper presents modified NLM for full bridge submodule topology to take the critical benefits of full bridge submodule topology and improve power quality. Okay, the proposed method is simple to implement and produces a 4n plus 1 output waveform. Now the modified NLM used for full bridge submodule topology can produce up to 4n plus 1 AC output waveforms. This means that it will have improved power quality, reduced harmonic distortion and reduced number of cells. So this this will be enhanced modular multilevel converter. The TAD of output voltage and current reduces to half compared to conventional NLM method. Certainly, if you will produce 4n plus 1 levels instead of 2n plus 1 levels, then certainly your TAD of output voltage and current will reduce to half. The proposed method is verified using levy multi sim co simulation and as well as real time simulation. So, the research methodology is very similar. First of all, uh, the modular multi-level converter have been tested and verified using offline simulation results using levy, uh, levy multi-sim core simulation. The controller has been designed in NLA view for the MMC. So the gate signals of the MMC and the controller NLC will be implemented in LabVIEW view and the analog circuit of MMC uh, having full bridge submodules will be implemented using multi-sim and the signals will be exchanged and the results will be verified in offline simulation results. Once the converter and controller work satisfactorily, then we will move from the offline simulation results to real time simulation results. The same lay view program code with some minor modifications will be burnt into the CDO. And now this will be real or physical controller. And this analog circuit of the multi sim that will be burnt into the PXI. And uh, then they will extend the signals. Of, uh, and then there will be there will exchange signals between uh, serial and PXI and real time simulation results will be observed and I'll, I'll already discussed that the advantage of real time simulations is as compared to offline simulation results that the real time simulation of power converter presents actual or real behavior of the converter and if you compare the results with physical prototypes like in this case if you see hill simulation setup results versus physical systems setup results or experimental setup results the results are very similar. So this is main beauty and advantage of hardware loop setup. So in this setup, first this is MMC. In our previous work, we have used some module based on half bridge, but this is full bridge and half bridge two transistor and one capacitor is used, and full bridge four transistors, preferably IGBT and one capacitor is used. So this this is discussion on NLC. This is controller and lab view for 2n plus 1 and this is controller for 4n plus 1. First we have observed core simulation results uh, of this proposed uh, modified modular multi-level uh, converter based on modified NLC. These are results for different levels. 3 phase output voltage with 9 levels and 17 levels. This is 2n plus 1 and this is 4n plus 1. Uh, these results are for output voltage. Now you see with the conventional NLM, uh, if you have 2n plus 1 levels, there are 9 levels and if you activate uh, the modified NLM controller, you get 4n plus 1 levels and instead of 9 levels, now it converts into 17 levels. So if you have more levels, 17 levels, then certainly the output waveform of this portion, you see, will be more close to a sinusoidal signal therefore its TAD will be reduced as compared to this portion where the number of levels will be if the number of levels will be less then the output will less resemble like uh, less resemble to sine wave but if the number of levels will increase the output will resemble more to sine wave and therefore TAD will reduce these are the results for the current for the 2n plus 1 levels and for the for the proposed modified NLM for 4n plus 1 levels Similarly, for 17 and 33 levels results have been repeated for voltage and current and 
Results are also repeated for 23 levels and 49 levels. Now if you see, A you are increasing the number of levels. Now in 49, if you observe this 49 levels, the output is very similar, very resembling to the pure sine wave and therefore the TAD of 49 levels will be less than certainly 23 levels, certainly than 33 levels. So if more number of levels are achieved, TAD will reduce. Alright, so this is the physical setup of hardware and loop laboratory that is available at our university and these are the results presented and summarized in table. Now if you see the modified NLM, you get 4N plus, 4N plus 1 levels and conventional 2N plus 1 levels are used. So the TAD, if you get 4N plus 1 levels, TAD of our current and voltage as compared to conventional NLM is reduced to half as shown in this table. From figure 14, real-time simulation results starts. These are the results for real-time simulation for 9 and 17 levels for voltage and these are for the currents. These are real-time simulation results for 17 and 33 levels and similarly results are repeated for different levels. These are the scenarios with load variations. Now, it can be seen that in the modified NLM that, that we get 4N plus 1 levels, you see that the TAD is reduced as compared to conventional NLM in this graph. And as the number of submodules are increasing, the TAD is further reducing. So these are the results for current TAD in offline, offline real-time simulation for modified and conventional NLM. These are the voltage TAD in offline real-time simulation for modified and conventional NLM. Alright, and this is the table for conventional NLM and for modified NLM. Alright. So in conclusion, uh, modified NLM which was only confined to half-bit submodules in our previous research work now has been used for full bridge MMC configuration in this paper. The modified NLM is simple to implement and produces 4N plus 1 AC output levels. The method is initially verified with offline simulation results means initially it is verified using offline simulation result and then later on once the controller and converter works perfectly then they are the journey from offline simulation results goes to real time simulation results and then real time simulation results are taken finally and results are compared for uh, results are both offline and real time simulation results uh, in terms of TDR compared thank you very much for listening